good good afternoon all am i audible properly okay Okay. Are you getting screen there properly? Okay. okay so in today's lecture uh, we will continue with the uh, previous topic that time division multiplexing okay so let's solve a numerical uh, so i'm writing here the parameters uh, the numerical that we have to solve so at the input we have a uh, four signals at the input we have a four signals okay at your end you also note down okay okay so first signal has a, a frequency it is 3 kilohertz the first signal has a frequency 3 kilohertz okay second third and fourth signal all three signals have frequency 1 kilohertz each 1 kilohertz each okay 1 kilohertz each is that okay so we have a four signal at the input at the input we have four signals so first signal has a frequency 3 kilohertz and second third four signal has the frequency is 1 kilohertz each so that is the uh, input signals we have and what we have to do we have to time division multiplex we have to use time division multiplex but here uh, they are not mentioning um, the pulse code modulation just mention here the time division multiplexing so obviously here we will consider only the samples here we will consider only the samples in the previous uh, numerical uh, in that numerical it was mentioned the pulse code modulation means 8 bit pulse code modulation we have to use but in this particular numerical uh, it is not mentioned ki pulse code modulation use karna hai ki delta modulation use karna hai just in the numerical it is mentioned that just we have to create or uh, we have to generate time division multiplex signal okay so if if such a condition is there so we have to consider only the samples we have to consider only the samples okay so what we have to calculate uh, here the speed of the commutator there is a first parameter the speed of commutator i am writing the parameter that we have to calculate here okay that is the first parameter we have to calculate speed of the commutator okay and calculate and we have to calculate the transmission bandwidth we have to calculate the transmission bandwidth here fine transmission bandwidth transmission bandwidth okay we have to calculate the transmission bandwidth okay so this is the have you understood numerical here have you understood the numerical let me know first Have you understood? Fine. So let's solve the numerical. So let's solve the numerical. Okay. So first of all, 
here in this numerical it is not mentioned at which sampling rate we have to uh, means at which sampling rate we have to do the sampling okay so sampling rate nothing but here we will use as a sampling rate sampling rate here nothing but is the nyquist rate okay sampling rate is nothing but here the nyquist rate okay so for a first signal for a first signal what is the nyquist rate here what is the frequency 3 kilohertz right so 3 into 2 that is 6 kilohertz that is 6 kilohertz okay and for second third and fourth signal what is the sampling frequency here that is 2 kilohertz that is 2 kilohertz that is 2 kilohertz okay so here total samples total number of samples how many total number of samples we will get here total samples total samples is equal to it is 6 6000 plus 2000 2000 2000 for these three signals okay so total samples here how many samples we will get here 6000 plus 4 10000 sorry uh 12000 it is 12000 samples 12000 samples per second 12000 samples per second okay so bara 12000 samples here we will get is it okay so 12000 samples are we are getting in one second okay now tell me just uh, comment uh, your answer in the uh, uh, chat box what is the speed of the commutator let me know have you understood how many you are replying just calculate there and post your answer in the comment, uh, chat box what is the speed of the commutator what is the speed of the commutator let me know you mention your answer in the chat box what is the speed of the commutator or rotation speed Am I audible? Am I audible? Huh. So mention your answer in the chat box. What is the speed of the commutator? Have you understood the numerical? Because no one is replying here. Ah, only one student has replied yes not only i want answer value not like that a constant frequency or like that i want a value numerical value who hundred is the wrong answer two hundred is the wrong answer
What about other students? I'm repeating again the numerical. Listen carefully. We have a four signal at the input. First signal has a frequency three kilohertz, and the remaining three signal has a frequency one kilohertz each. Okay, so. The sampling rate is nothing but the nitrous rate because the you know, sampling uh, rate it is not mentioned in the numerical. So, sampling uh, frequency we will consider as a nitrous rate. So, obviously, for first signal is a six kilohertz, and remaining two, three, and four signal is a two kilohertz each. So, based on this calculation, the total number of samples are generating in one second are twelve thousand, right? So, twelve thousand samples are generating in one second. so let me know ki what is the speed of the commutator means ye jo 12000 sample jo generate ho rahe hai ek second mein okay to ye 12000 sample generate hone ke liye kitne rotation lena padega commutator ko so that answer i want here yeah tushar mention your answer 2000 rotation per second right very good tushar so while i'm explaining some points just note down at your end I don't know whether you are note downing or not, but it is very important while under uh, while listening or just looking or it is not a it should not happen that just up on and sit down. Okay, you have to understand this concept, right? So in the previous lecture, I said whatever the minimum sampling frequency is nothing but what the speed of the commutator. That is a simple answer. So what is the minimum uh, sampling frequency here? It is a Two thousand kilohertz. Sorry, two uh, kilohertz, right? So two kilohertz is nothing but what? Two thousand rotation per second. That is the minimum sampling frequency here we are getting, right? So this is the answer. That is two thousand rotation per second. That is the speed of the commutator. That is the first answer. Okay, speed of the commutator is what? That when this commutator two thousand rotation complete will complete, so how many samples will generate? Twelve thousand. Okay, so this is the final answer. So the answer is given by Tushar Kotkar. The correct answer. Good. Now let's calculate the other parameter here. Yeah. So that is the minimum sampling speed. The speed of the commutator here is equal to two thousand rotations. Two thousand rotations per second. That is the minimum sampling frequency. Okay. Now here, total samples are generating twelve thousand. 12000 samples are generating now one more parameter here we have to calculate that is total number of frames at your end you note down i am repeating at your end note down total number of frames total number of frames per second how many total number of frames are generating in one second okay so now listen carefully and look carefully also This is the timeline. Okay, this is the first time slot. Means the first frame. This frame one, and uh, this is frame two. This is frame two, right? And so on. So, ऐसे कितने frame generate होंगे एक second में? हमको तो पता है कि total samples are generating twelve thousand samples in one second. Okay. so when this commutator will complete one rotation i am repeating when the commutator will complete one rotation so how many uh, samples here we will get how many samples here we will get actually one sample from uh, this first three signal second third and fourth so there three sample ho gaye yahan se but here this signal 6 kilohertz we are splitting into three parts we are splitting into three parts means like this ये फर्स्ट थ्री सिग्नल्स के लिए और ये फर्स्ट सिग्नल का स्प्लिटिंग तो दिस इज दिस इज फर्स्ट सिग्नल वी स्प्लिटेड एंड दिस इज सेकंड सिग्नल थर्ड सिग्नल एंड फोर्थ सिग्नल सेकंड थर्ड एंड फोर्थ ओके सो एक्चुअली हाउ मेनी सैंपल्स वी विल गेट हियर 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 6 सैंपल्स ओके Now, why we are getting the six six samples? Because actually, answer uh, actually the answer it is six samples per frame, but not 
four samples per sim because why because we are splitting this 6 kilohertz into three parts one two three why because we have to maintain the constant speed that is 2000 rotation means the minimum sampling speed okay so here 2000 2000 and here also it is 2000 okay so one sample we will get from this one one sample from this one one sample from this one after splitting so the three and this three signal samples so total six samples total six samples we will get in one frame so how many number of frames are generating there so total number of uh, samples are here 12000 so 12000 divided by 6 12000 divided by 6 so 2000 frames are generating in one second so the total number of frames are 2000 frames are generating in one second frames okay so this is the uh, one of the answer the total number of frames are generating in one second after that we have to calculate transmission bandwidth transmission bandwidth so as we know it is not mentioning ki pcm use karna hai ki kuch use karna hai so simple samples we are keeping here so total number of samples we know ki total number of samples are generating 12000 so the bandwidth is equal to bandwidth is equal to 12000 12000 divided by 2 so that is 6 kilohertz that is the final answer 6 kilohertz that is the final answer means 6 kilohertz bandwidth that we required to transmit this four signals tdm signal four signals tdm signal have you understood this numerical have you understood the signal okay. numerical is it okay yeah i have one so one of the student asked tushar ha huh, sir before giving input to the computer can we mix 2 3 4 2 3 4 and 4 signal and make it total one signal tdm signal itself of single signal okay i am repeating tdm signal signal itself a time division multiplex signal so yeah yeah i am repeating again i am repeating again Look, time division multiplexing is nothing but what we are combining all the input signal into the in one common channel. Means we have to transmit all these input signal over the common channel, right? So for that purpose, what we are doing, we are dividing the slot and we are transmitting over the common channel. Okay. Okay, I am repeating again this numerical. Again, I'm repeating this numerical here. Okay. Now we have a first signal, which has a frequency four kilohertz. Okay. And uh, sorry, three kilohertz. Okay. So the Nyquist state will be here. The sampling frequency will be here. The six kilohertz. okay second third and fourth signal which has a frequency 1 kilohertz each here also it is 1 kilohertz here also it is 1 kilohertz okay so har ek ka sampling frequency so here it is 2 kilohertz here also it is 2 kilohertz and here also it is 2 kilohertz okay but while combining the all four signals okay so the speed of the commutator we have to maintain the constant right so we have to split this first signal into three part because the minimum sampling frequency is 2 kilohertz so yahan pe aisa hoga it is 2 kilohertz 2 kilohertz 2 kilohertz ye 2 kilohertz yahan se aa raha hai ye 2 kilohertz yahan se aa raha hai aur ye 2 kilohertz 2 kilohertz sorry yahan se aa raha hai okay this is all 2 kilohertz 2 kilohertz 2 kilohertz so when this commutator will complete one rotation so in one frame in one frame in one frame how many samples we will get we will get the sample from this one this one this one this one this one and this one so total six samples six samples even though at the input we have a four signals but due to the splitting we will get the six samples in one frame six samples in one frame i hope it is understood now 
Is it okay? Yeah, Risho. Is it okay now? Okay. What about Tushar? Is it a doubt clear? Okay. Okay, fine. Now these are some numericals based on time division multiplexing. Okay, practically uh, whenever we are transmitting the digital information over the uh, common channel. Okay, so in that case, uh, generally we follow some uh, standard uh, multiplexing hierarchy. We have a standard multiplexing hierarchy. So there are two types of standard multiplexing hierarchy. First of all, it is AT&T hierarchy. Okay, so AT&T hierarchy means what? It's American Telephone and Telegraph Telegraph Company. Okay, so. Let's see what is the overall uh, data rate that we are getting at the final output. Okay, so at the input we have 24 voice signal, 24 voice signal. So that 24 voice signal combinedly we uh, named as DS zero signal. That is DS zero signal. So DS zero signal has a uh, each frequency 64 kbps. Okay, 64 kbps ka har ek signal hai. Okay, so if you are combining all these four channels, so at the output of first marks. So overall, uh, the frequency that uh, sorry, uh, beat rate we are getting here 1.54 Mbps. One of the numerical also we have solved. How do you get this 1.544 Mbps? So here we are using 8-bit PCM system. 8-bit PCM system. So with the help of that 8-bit PCM system, so final DS1 signal. Here we have a DS1 signal. You can see, okay, at the output of this first mux, this is second mux, third mux, and fourth mux. Okay. So at the input, whatever the uh, 24 voice signals we have, we named as a DS0 signals, okay, which has a uh, bit rate that is 64 kbps each. So when we are multiplexing here by using MUX, so final DS1 signal, it is 1.544 mbps, okay, that is DS1 signal, you can see. After multiplying four uh, DS1 signal, okay, so finally we will get here DS2 signal. So DS2 signal has a bit rate, it is 6.312 mbps fine after multiplexing again ds2 seven signals okay so ds3 signal we will get which has a uh, uh, bit rate that is 44.736 mbps similarly when we combine ds3 six signals okay so here remember 24 4 7 6 these uh, values you have to remember to uh, uh, understand this uh, at and hierarchy 24 at the input we have 24 once we combine the 24 we will get ds1 signal okay so when we combine ds1 four signals so we will get ds2 signal okay so ds2 signals nothing but uh, when we combine the seven ds2 signals we will get ds3 signal okay and when we will combine ds3 six signals we will get ds4 signal okay so finally ds4 signal has a band uh, signaling transmission rate it is 274.176 mbps so it is a standard uh, multiplexing hierarchy it is given by at&t hierarchy called as at&t hierarchy one of the hierarchy okay similarly we have another digital hierarchy multiplexing hierarchy that is ccit hierarchy okay so the ccit digital hierarchy based on 30 pcm channels means signals channels means here it is signals means at the input we have 30 signals okay so here we have 30 30 comma 4 comma uh, after that they, there is a uh, e3 signal is there okay it's one two, four comma four so here four 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 okay 30 comma four comma four comma four so here at the input we have 30 signals again each signal has a 64 kbps uh, bit rate so when we combine 30 signals so we have en1 signal so en1 signal has a bit rate 2.048 mbps Similarly, when we we'll combine four EN1 signals, so 8.44 Mbps we will get. We will combine 8.44 Mbps four signals, we will get 32, uh, sorry, 34.36 Mbps. And if you combine ES3 four signals, so we will get here 139.264 Mbps bit rate. So exam may either uh, AT&T, AT&T or CCIT, AT&T or CCIT. Dono mein se konsa bhi ek block diagram explain karne ke liye aata hai. Okay. So these are the standard digital multiplexing hierarchy that we follow when we are transmitting digital signal over the 
common channel by using time division multiplexing i hope it is clear yeah one more doubt it is there how is it decided that how many signals should be combined yeah okay uh, yeah so uh, this is not a fixed value ki how many signals that we have to combine as said it is a standard digital multiplexing hierarchy it is a standard multiplexing digital hierarchy and at the input how many signals are combining this is not a random number it is a standard numbers these are these are the standard numbers okay we cannot use any random numbers these are the standard numbers which are given by this atnt and ccit therefore it is mentioned the atnt atnt hierarchy and this and this is a ccit hierarchy okay so is, these are the standard values not a random values is it clear okay uh, the tushar asked 24476 there are random signal or same signal same signal means we can use any different information signals not a same signal different information signal is that clear because same information signal ke liye to nahi hoga wo okay the multiplexing why we are using the multiplexing multiplexing we are using when we have to transmit different information signal over the common channel over the common channel for example your tv let us the tv uh, uh, set top box is there right so this in the in that case satellite satellite communication we are using and we are receiving the different uh, signals there star plus is there sony tv is there so different information signals are there so we are combining that signals and that we are getting there okay i hope it is clear is it clear now okay if you have any doubt then ask if you have any doubt then you can ask there if you have any doubt then you can ask there okay fine so in the next lecture uh, we will see how do you uh, get how do you get the multiplexing hierarchy means this value uh this is 1.544 mbps already we calculated uh, by solving one of the numerical but this ds1 system that is ds1 system here the combined value is 1.544 mbps 1.54 mbps right so that is actually t1 system that is the t1 system so that t1 system we will study in the next lecture in detail with the help of block diagram how do you get is 1.544 mbps values there so it is okay for today's lecture or if you have any doubt then you can ask yeah one more doubt is there we can use this hierarchy only if we have a multiple signals yeah hierarchy when when we are using the hierarchy when we have to transmit different information signal over the common channel okay so there are uh, some standard uh, protocols are there standard uh, standard hierarchies are there for a digital signal so that standard hierarchy that we have to follow for transmitting digital signal over the channel okay is it okay siddhan okay fine so in the next lecture we will start with the t1 system that is pcm system how we are getting as 1.544 mbps okay and after that uh, we will analyze uh, the data format means how do you represent the different uh, line codes or uh, digital information signal into different formats okay so till then take care goodbye